Gemini's welcome back to my channel we're going to be doing a look at your love life we're going to be looking at the next major relationship that you guys are going to be getting into the energy surrounding that as a whole and yeah we're going to try to get as detailed as possible what i'm going to do now we're going to kind of talk about the energy around the connection then i'm going to flip the uh cards what i'm going to flip the camera and we're going to look at like a really detailed i guess overview of this individual their zodiac sign what they look like all that stuff so stay tuned for that and on my patreon if you are part of our community we have so many people that have joined already it's it's freaking crazy i think we had like a hundred people actually joined in like two days i guess you guys really did miss me on patreon um but i have so much new content coming for you guys so definitely my patreon game thank you guys for coming through but um i will have an extended version of this reading on patreon so if you really want to know more so about the connection and what that's going to look like uh definitely check that out on patreon i'll have it below and let's go ahead and talk about what's going on any other information you need to book a reading all that jazz will be in the description so gemini's okay so i'm <laughs> i was getting this energy of fate when you come in contact with this individual it's definitely going to happen in divine timing this is spirit coming through and being like okay i think you're ready <laughs> okay um, the way you may meet this person, you may be out like grocery shopping or doing your own thing in terms of like having fun with your friends or even on vacation. I'm hearing it's like in the midst of you kind of like, oh my God, this was in the way, um, in the midst of you like focusing on yourself, doing your own thing. It's like you manifest this person and it, it is definitely fate. This is definitely fate kind of playing out here. Another thing I'm feeling wow uh another reason why it may be fate is because this person comes in to really close out some old cycles and when i say that some of you may be in between halfway not being in a relationship halfway being in one and this person comes in and they like basically make you decide or make you have to choose what you're ultimately going to do another thing i'm feeling um with fate kind of coming into play spirit is saying make sure you don't let interferences or outside influences keep you from actually having forward movement okay uh because that could happen where you have like that in between situation or even somebody who you have on your mind who you're not really in contact with at the moment um be that blockage and and that could be something you guys have to sort out now Another thing I'm getting, um, Spirit is pointing out your, your thought process when it comes to love. Are you someone, when you think about love, you associate it with trauma? If so, then that's a sign that those are some things that need to be healed within you. And there needs to be an understanding that, look, yes, love, just like many other things in our lives, come with different experiences and some very much so not positive in others you know more so positive and more so euphoric in nature but when you kind of like remove yourself from the need of associating love with trauma it allows you to be more allowing and willing for new love to come into your life and that's what's needed okay that that's definitely what's needed here um interesting so i also get this energy of confusion when this person comes into your life you may be so confused because it's like mm, again some of you are like in a weird situation where things have to be sorted out in order for you guys to like fully be with this person whether you're like still with the person you have children with but in a strange like dynamic whatever the circumstances are it's like it just it triggers a cycle closing but when this person comes in they're definitely going to change your perception when it comes to love especially if it was negative this person may show you that dang love may still exist in a sense 
All right, so let's go ahead and flip the camera. Let's go ahead and get into what this person may look like. Their zodiac sign, because I know you guys want to know all that jazz. Um, I'm going to even try to pull the charms out so we can go ahead and see what that's looking like. Again, extended version will be on Patreon. Let's go ahead and flip the camera. All right, so let's get into it, Geminis, and see the zodiac sign of who you guys are going to deal with or their characteristics. Now, keep in mind, this could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements or just energy that they may carry. So let's get into it. First sign we have is Pisces. So they could be a Pisces or they could have characteristics of being very imaginative, compassionate. They could have healing abilities just within their energy. Um, they could be very empathetic. Um, they could be somebody who's very dreamy. I also get the energy of somebody who's like the life of the party. Like this may be somebody who's always like ready to have fun, ready to turn up, do things spontaneously. They could be slightly overly emotional at times or like sensitive, but it's only because they pick up on energy and they can help it. Okay, so I also have Aquarius here and they could be very experimental, uh, rational, unique, free, eccentric. Okay, they could also be somebody who, mm, at first they could seem a little distant, like emotionally distant in terms of how they, how they, like I said, how they initially come off. They're not the type to just like, when they first meet you, be all gushy and emotional. So they may try to play extremely tough or as if they don't have feelings, but when you really get to know them, they're somebody who's a softie at heart and they are very emotional. Uh, they're very different than what you're used to as well. Like they may be more spiritual or they live by their own philosophy because of the experiences that they've gone through. All right, I also have Scorpio. So this could be somebody who is very intense. They could be very passionate at times, very alluring, mysterious, something about their energy. You can't really pinpoint what it is, but it like draws you into them. All right, and then last zodiac sign we have is Sagittarius. So they could be somebody who's very uh, uh, adventurous, in many different ways. All right, I'm keeping PG-13. Um, there's somebody who sees like the lesson in everything. Like they, they get the bigger picture in terms of why things happen. They're not a why me type of person. They're more of like, oh, well, this is God showing me signs. Like they're, they're very in tune with their culture or their spirituality as well. Is there anything that my Geminis need to know about the next person they're going to be in a relationship with? So I have two cards here. I have a year from now and I also have success. So this person may come into your life at the most random time. Um, I'm not saying like literally a year from now, you and this person are going to deal with each other because it may be a lot sooner. Um... But a year from now, you may be shocked how things kind of develop in this connection. Like it may kind of start off as, oh, okay, I'm just getting to know this person. But surprisingly, it kind of takes off and it gets a lot more deep. It gets a lot more intimate than you may have imagined. Okay. I'm going to use my sound bowl because I don't have anything else to use. And let's see what the charms have to say about this person. So right off the bat, this person may work in the medical field or you meet this person like while you're at a doctor's appointment or while you're doing something connected to health. Mm. This person could be a survivor of cancer. I randomly got that from looking at these charms. Um, this person may be a survivor of cancer. Or like some sort of health ailment that they may have went through and, and they're a survivor from it. 
And because of that, this person is strong already. Like you'll notice that their energy is very, I don't know. It, it, it just gives like, I've been through a lot, but I'm a stronger person because of it. You, you'll definitely sense that energy from them. Um, another thing I'm getting, again, they may have their own culture. They may be from a different uh, background, either social background or ethnicity, culture. Yeah, I feel like also a lot of you are dealing with some some fate energy here. I think I said that in the beginning of this reading too. They may have some musical talents. They may be able to play like a certain instrument. I do have a guitar here. Yeah, some of you may even meet this person like while you're taking your animal in to get like groomed or like a vet visit. Something with the medical field that keeps coming up here. Um, yeah, this person also, they may stand out like a sore thumb when you come in contact with them. This may be in the sense of like something about their hair is different or something about their, their energy is different. Something stands out to you about this person and you stand out to them and they may actually approach you. Um, I also see that this person is very well manicured. Like there's somebody who really cares about the way they look and how they show up. Um, so they could be somebody who's very self-conscious about their hair or somebody who like dresses nice or maybe like a businessman or a businesswoman where they have to always like present themselves as being clean and cut. Um, especially when you first initially meet them, they may be very clean and cut. This person may have also been married before. Um, but surprisingly, they actually may still be open to like getting married now, even though they've been married before and they maybe have not had the best experience. But all right, let's go more in depth with this individual on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards to kind of see what the sex life looks like. Uh, I'm going to see what the overall connection itself is going to play out like for you. So stay tuned on my Patreon and I'll see you later.